friends, welcome to the video. Historically, kit bashing was, let's say for example, take a wing and don't build the ends on it. It was a shorter wingspan, a faster roll rate. Or perhaps you got a stick, pretend this is a stick. Instead of a top wing, you wanted a lower wing. So you flip the fuselage over and you build the wing to where it'll fit into there. Basically changing what's in the plans to suit you know yourself and of course in light burn we can do a lot of that kind of stuff here's one little something i don't know if you can read that what i did this is the trailing edge from the trailing edge video cheating the trailing edge leftover material and I, that'd make a great leading edge on that littler wing so you know always be on the lookout for things to do with leftover materials what happened on this i started putting this together and it's pretty cool because it goes together like a puzzle. You see, I got no printed plans out here. I got this little jig set up where I've got my piece of sheet metal, bought some cheap magnets from Harbor Freight. It's really cool. Some of the tab slots were like twice the width they needed to be. And so it was a really sloppy fit. Thankfully, I had only cut one side of the fuselage and then I cut out all the bulkheads. And when I went to lay it out, here and try to put it together oh man it was just and i don't know why i have no idea it doesn't matter we're gonna fix that and i'll show you in light burn but what i ended up doing was tightening up everything but also making sure it still landed in the exact spot it needed to so in other words it needed to shrink this way but not move anywhere so that the bulkheads would line right back up into it so we'll do that in light burn here in just a second some other things this uh this is that same plane i've been working on in the last few beginner videos and it has a rudder stab but not a rudder and so if you've seen my uh stretching balsa video yeah i'm just gonna stretch a little bit of the balsa and put a cut in there and make it a, with a rudder also uh, kit bashing it only called for one servo back here and uh, i just copied pasted moved over and put in for a second servo i may have mentioned in another video i was thinking about actually putting the rudder servo up in this area and doing a pull pull system uh, using like some 150 pound test fishing line that's still an option and uh, that's one of the great things about doing these yourself in light burn with your own laser is you can adapt to what you want instead of following the factory step by step okay for the purposes of this video i'm just going to use these pieces right here we'll start pretty simple at the moment i can left click you can see everything is grouped together also, this up here shows you. So I'm going to ungroup this piece. And all I want to do is make a duplicate of this. So I'll select the entire thing once it's highlighted. Several ways you can do this. You can right-click, duplicate, or Control-D, whatever. Once you've done that, your duplication is selected at the moment. So I'm just going to down arrow. And voila, there's my second uh, servo piece. And then I'm going to want to go ahead and group all that back together. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Now, from the stretching the balsa uh, sheeting, with this all grouped together, if I stretch it, it stretches everything. But we're going to ungroup, deselect, and then we're just going to select what we want to stretch. So I'm going to hold my control button down and left click. Let's see what that, nope, can't do all that. I can do to there. What can I do to this side? Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I can just drag and stretch just those parts. I've got a little out of whack there. Uh, but that's all we can do at this moment. So, 
I gotta put a cut in there anyway, so I'm gonna get my line tool and just connect these two parts. And then I'm gonna come right about there, draw that up, kind of match it, and that'll pretty much cut out a rudder. Go back to my arrow selection thing, select the entire piece, group it all back together again. Uh, pretty simple. And then probably what I would end up doing when I cut this out is I'll put some uh, quarter triangle in there and then sand it down to match so that it gives me a bevel on my rudder piece. Okay, this one's a little more complicated. Right now, I'm going to select the whole thing, ungroup it. I can fix that while I'm at it. Select that piece. Let's see, is it... These little deals up here turn things different directions. Ah, it's still backwards. Get that again. There. And as I don't want that cut in there... Just click on that, change the color to something that I'll end up turning the power off so I know it won't cut it. Okay, but let's get to what we're supposed to be doing. Now, what we need is these to stay right where they're at for one and come down to eighth inch. I need it to pull from top and bottom on this one so that it centers. So let's do a center. Get in here real close. You see how that looks there. See when it gets close to that corner how it changes. When you pull up to there. See right there it changed again. That's telling me it's in the center. Little left click. Let the line draw. That's oh, green. That's okay. And do the same thing over here. You see how that cursor changes when it hits center it makes that little circle so a little left click again pull away right click stops that let me uh, select that line oh, let's make it blue and turn the power on blue just so you can see more better so let's say we want to mark the exact center of this it's the same thing. Get your line tool going. Wait till that changes right there. Pull down. And you see it change again. That gives us an exact square. So now, when we go to set this, we want the height to be one eighth of an inch. One slash eight uh, in. Enter. You can see the difference there and there. And we know that it stayed right where it needs to be. Okay. So let's, while well, we got our arrow selected, select, hold control, select that part, and let's cruise over here. And let's put that right in there. Now you can see, because of that part, we know it's not eighth inch. But see how that cursor changes? We know that's in the center. We know this is in the center by the cursor change. All right? Same thing over here. We can check. That cursor will change when it hits direct center. So, select height 1 slash 8 and enter. And it's still centered right where it needs to be, and now it's an eighth of an inch. And so I just went down through each one of those and did that, and it worked just fine. My bulkheads stuck right in there 
everything works good. Now let's say just for example, you know, this worked out good. It stayed centered where it was supposed to had. But let's say we selected it and we did our deal and for some reason it moved out of whack. When we resized it, well it, it doesn't matter because we've got it marked right here where it's gotta be. And so we can line it back up to right where it's centered where it was to begin with because we started this out right in the center of where it was. Reach the end.